Shalom. Let me start by saying, by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and others, a great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, Ba'asham, as in the name Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in our truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, also, if I didn't say double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, <clears throat> and um, this is Brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Shai. And the title of the video, Lord willing, is going to be the Bible is no fairy tale. Okay, because as we see, you know, these different prophecies, you know, getting ready to uh, to uh, come in flourishing. All right, we see uh, we see prophecy coming to pass every day. All right, whether you believe or whether you don't believe. If you don't believe, then that's also a part of prophecy. Okay, we see these different uh these uh <clears throat> these different um what is it? uh these different doctrines you know coming all right you uh you see you see the incredulity okay um uh, trying to pick my words so the video don't get striked down all right you see these uh transformers all right feeling like they have rights you know feeling like you know they're a target you know all these different things world war three all right the dollar uh being talked about uh collapsing all these different things there's so many things that's going on all right and soon soon enough these people are going to realize that the bible is no fairy tale man <coughs> so let me start here second ezra's Chapter 15, starting at 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right? So all these words, these prophecies, you know, that the Lord has put into our mouth, all right? His, he put his words into our mouth so we can speak it, all right? So we can break it down into the people, all right? All these things that we're breaking down, all right, starting with the apostles, the elders, brothers on down, they are faithful and true, all right? Because the, these are the words of the Lord, man. All right, the word of the Lord is faithful and it's true. So America is going to be destroyed. The dollar is going to collapse, all right? Martial law, Jacob's trouble is going to happen, okay? America is going to be, uh, be nuked, man. All right, it's going to be a nuclear war. It says in Isaiah, this war shall be with fuel and fire, man. All right, World War Three. All right, it's going to happen. All these things are going to happen. All right, and <clears throat> jumping, uh, I'm going to read to verse 4. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, those that are unfaithful. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, so you're going to die. All right, you're going to finally realize that uh, this book is not a fairy tale because when people read the scriptures, you know, they, they read uh, different beasts, you know, with foreheads, eagles' wings, you know, leopards with heads, and, and they and they get they get confounded. You know, they read about the dragon, white horses, all right, pale horses, black horses, you know, flying, okay, but they don't understand uh, the language Okay, or they don't understand the uh, the cold words that the scriptures have. All right, when you see horse, a lot of time that represents power. All right, horn represents power. Okay, uh, white a lot of times represents purity. Okay, dragon, or uh, okay represents uh, <coughs> a lot of times representing that old serpent, going back to Esau Edom. All right. So you got to understand the different breakdowns of the scriptures. Then when you see dragon or this or the scriptures describing a different beast, you're able to uh, to understand it. 
okay? But without that Holy Spirit, you're not able to understand, all right? That's why a lot of people, they view this book, the Holy Bible, as a fairy tale. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, starting at verse 30, it says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. You see? And so a lot of people, they in their house, you know, walking down the street, talking shit, all right? You know, look, look what these men talking about, all right? They're talking about America being destroyed, all right? You know, they're talking about uh, they're going to be flying, you know? You know, they're talking about uh, white man going into slavery, all right? But these are the words that uh, that coming from, ultimately from the Lord, man. All right, and the Lord is just using us to speak his words. Verse 31 says, They come unto thee as the people cometh. They sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. All right, so they won't, they won't cut their dreads. All right, they're going to keep shaving their beard. They're going to keep getting lineups. They're going to keep smoking weed. All right, they hear that we say to not do it, but they're going to keep doing it. It says, With their mouth they show much love. Hey, Shalom. Hey, I see y'all brothers, man. Much love. But their heart goeth after their after their covetousness, man. All right, we seen the dude that walked by after camp, real shortly after camp. Yeah, I know, I, I know, I'm I'm from all the, I'm from all the tribes, you know, uh, walking backwards. Then he fell on his ass, man. All right, then, you know, we we ain't make fun of him or anything. Then I seen as we were saluting each other to, uh, to end camp, you know, he was down there uh, smoking like some vape or some shit, man. Okay. You know, so they 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 honor they honor the Lord with their lips, all right. But their mind is far from Yahweh Shimon all right. Far from serving Him, man. It says, and thou and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Okay, so. Our people, they hear the words of the Lord, but they don't do them, man. All right? Because they, they like to, to fulfill their flesh. It says, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Okay? So when these prophecies come to pass, then they're going to realize, like, man, them guys is right. All right? Hey, the Bible is real, man. You see? The Lord didn't have these scriptures written for nothing. All right? The word of the Lord don't go out void, man. Okay? Alright, these people seek for a sign, but the sign is right in front of them. Alright, the prophet's rising up all right, all, all, across the four corners of the earth, preaching his word in every major city, man. How much more of a sign do you need from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah? Alright? The sign of the prophet Jonah. Alright? You, you have us prophesying in the, in the belly of the beast, which is America, man. <clears throat> this is, uh... Proverbs chapter 1, starting at 1, it says, The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and, judgment and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb. All right, see, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to read to verse 7, but a wise man will increase in learning. All right, because he's going to take heed, man. Okay, but you have to be humble and of a meek spirit. It says, and a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsels to, to understand a proverb and the interpretation of the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right, so be able to understand dark sayings. All right, to be able to understand these scriptures, first step is to fear the Lord. That's the first step to obtain wisdom is to fear the Lord. That's the beginning of, of knowledge. All right, 
is to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Fear the Lord. Okay? Love Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. How do you show your love for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? By keeping his commandments to the best of your abilities, man. All right? Shedding off the ways of this world. Not getting in line of, not, not growing dreadlocks, man. Not having sex with other men's wives, committing adultery. All right? Not eating abominable foods, man. Sticking to the diet of the Lord, man. All right? But a fool, they're going to despise the law. All right? They're going to loathe the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. And this is uh, Psalm 78. <clears throat> Psalm 78 and 1 says, Give ear, O my people, to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. It says, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. These scriptures are, are a lot of these scriptures, you know, some is verbatim, you know, plain and simple. But a lot of the scriptures are written in dark sayings, man. All right, in parables. And the scripture says, I will bring the comfort that's going to give you the remembrance of all things. All right. So without the Holy Spirit, there's no way that you're going to be able to understand these dark sayings and these uh, different parables. It says, which we have heard and and known and our fathers have told us. So we've we've once known these things, man. All right. But so now, you know, Lord willing, with that number, the hopeful elect is coming back to that remembrance. It says we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord Yahweh and his strength and his wonderful works that he have done. And this is the generation, you know, where the praises of the Lord is being brought forth, man. All right. This is the last generation, man. All right. You know, you come, uh, this generation is showing the praises to Yahweh Hashem All right. You know, that name Yahweh Hashem it's it's still a mystery, man. It's, it's uh it's normal to the uh, to those that are in the in the know, okay. But these people out here they, they hear uh Yahweh why Yahweh Shah they hear Yahweh Yahweh Shah they like uh Yah Yahusha, uh Yahweh, you know that the, the, the name is 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 a mystery to these people, man. <laughs> Excuse me, and uh <clears throat> let me end it off of be the Lord's will, uh with this last scripture here. Last few scriptures. Sirach 39, start at the top. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. All right, so giving our mind over to the law. All right, studying the law, trying to keep the law to the best of our ability, keeping the Shabbat, you know, which is today the Shabbat to sundown. Okay, all right, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. That's what we're doing. We're, we are rehearsing. We're practicing. It says, we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Okay? Being occupied in prophecies is a, is a very important thing, man. Okay? Because uh, prophecy, prophecy is undefeated, man. All right? You can't, you can't bypass prophecy. All right? And... Uh, uh, those that are of a witness of Yahweh Shai will be uh, will be occupied in prophecy, man. All right. It says, verse two, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and this is really like describing the hopeful elect. When you read this, we read uh, a little bit further down the chapter. It says he will keep the sayings of renowned men, and where septile parables are, he will be there also. Okay, so hey, we're uh, we're around subtle parables, uh, subtle uh, parables, man. All right, the different breakdowns of the scriptures. All right, the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Jeremiah, the prophet Daniel. All right, Revelations. Okay, hey, even the Gospels, man. All right, those are uh, subtle parables uh, from Yahweh Shai, man. It says he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in parables. All right, how. The Lord putting that spirit on us, all right, to search out these things, man. And the Lord put the spirit on the apostles to break it down. All right, now it's our job, our duty to uh, to search out these these different uh, these different breakdowns. All right, take notes. All right, read, study, and take notes, man. All right, then you're able to uh, to understand 
the different uh, dark parables. It says he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. It says he will travel through strange countries. It says he will travel through strange countries for he have tried the good and the evil. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before he will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplications for his sins. All right, these people got demons on it. Read this last uh, precept. It says, verse 6, When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his, in the, uh, uh, in his prayer. All right, so in due time, <clears throat> so in due time, the Lord is going to give his spirit, you know, unto uh, the spirit of understanding unto his elect, right? You know, these people are wild up with these demons, man. It's a lock here. You know, so in due time, you know, everybody, you know, that's in the know, you know, that point in time where you didn't know, you prayed to the Lord, the Lord gave you that, that understanding, and you know, and now we have the spirit of understanding. Okay? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Let me close with that and give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson. I say Shalom and the Baba Ba. Shalom.